Hi students, today we are going to start with the chapter that is second chapter of 10th standard that is verb, energy and power. Now we know that the verb then, what we are saying, what is verb? Is the, is the, what is verb in terms of physics? If I say verb is we should have a force, we should have a displacement. Now suppose this is a door, this is a say wall and pushing this wall. So according to physics, I am not doing any work because according to four, according to physics, if I say work means if I apply force to this body, there has to be displacement. So according to physics, there is no work done if I push this ball, right? Now, what is work? Right here, work is a dot product of two vectors. What are two vectors? One is a force, and second is what displacement. So if I split this part, this comes out to be Fs into what cos theta. Now from where this cos theta came? Now for that you have to refer to your 11th standard dot product. Now what that dot product? I'm just taking the definition. Definition of scalar or dot product. Now what that definition of scalar or dot product says? It is Work say it is a bar and b bar. These are two vectors. So, what is the definition says? The dot product of two vectors is the product of magnitude of two vectors and cosine of the angle between them. Cosine of the angle between them. Now here, this is one vector. So this is force. This is another vector that is displacement. And the angle between them is what? Theta. Now, I will split this into two components. That is called as, that process is called as the resolution of vector. Now, this resolution of vector, I will explain to you during the regular lecture, not in this part, because it's a very really complicated process. Now, I will split this into this displacement into component, two components. Out of that, one will be S cos theta. The other component will be what? It is F. So I will write here, I will write here, therefore, work done W is equal to, I write here W is equal to, this is F, this is nothing but F S cos theta. So what is F and what is S cos theta? F is the force, right, it's a magnitude of force. What is S cos theta is the component of displacement component of what displacement in the direction of what force yes this is component of what displacement where in the direction of force similarly i can write w is equal to this is f cos theta into what s so what is f cos theta yes it is the component of force in the yes direction of yes displacement your yeah, component of force in the direction of displacement and what is s is only displacement right now this is one part so work done depends on what three factors one is a uh, like your w is equal to fs cos theta so work done depends on three factors magnitude of force magnitude of displacement and the cosine of the angle between them. Now there are various cases. See case 1. Right? This is what case 1. Now in case 1, if theta is equal to 0, now what is theta 0? Say force and displacement they are in the same direction. Suppose this is the platform. I'm considering this is the body. I'm applying force to this body. What will happen? This body will move in the same direction. So your displacement is, the, is in the direction of force. So the angle between them is what? Zero. So write your W is equal to Fs cos zero. Now what is cos zero? Cos zero is equal to one. So work done W is equal to what? Fs. That is called as maximum work done. This is called as what? Maximum work done. Now, case 2, case 2, what is case 2 says, if theta is 90 degree, 
Now what is theta 90? Theta 90 is this. Uh, w is equal to Fs cos of 90 degree. Now, what is cos 90? Cos 90 degree is what? 0. So we write here, work done will be what? 0. Now, this is called as minimum work done. This is called as what? Minimum work done. Now, what is the example of this part? Say, this is a pulley carrying a load on its head. This is the load. So, force of gravity is what? Vertically downward. It is moving horizontally on a smooth frictionless surface. It should, they should mention this part, smooth frictionless surface. What is the angle between them? It's 90. So, what is work done? So, work done over here will be what? Zero. Second. Now, this is the satellite. This is the earth. This is the satellite which is revolving around it. So, this is the centripetal force which is pointing toward the center. This is centripetal force. This is the displacement which is tangential to this part. So the angle between them is what? 90 work done will be same. Now case 3. This is the important case. Case 3. Now case 3, if theta is 180 degree. Now W is equal to what? Fs cos of 180 degree. But cos 180 degree is what? Minus 1. So we can say work done is equal to minus Fs. This is called as what? Negative work done. This is special type negative work done. Now what is the example for this negative work done? Work done against friction. I am rubbing this board. I am rubbing this board. So I am doing work against a frictional force. So that is what is the work done negative. This is the object. This is freely falling into the board. But if I displace this body against gravity, so what is the angle between them? 180. So that is called as what? Negative work done. Now we'll proceed for the next part. Now, next part is what is energy. Now we will call work and energy is what same. Why I'm saying work and energy is same? Why? There is a difference. Why? But I'm calling work and energy is same. For us, check. Suppose this is the ground. I'm taking this object from here to a certain height. So, I will take this object to here. Now, to do this process, I am doing work. I am doing work. I am lifting this object from here to here. So, during this process, I am doing work. That work is stored over here in the form of what? Only gravitational potential energy. This is what? Gravitational potential energy. That is, work is stored here in the form of potential energy. Now, if I draw this object downward, what will happen? That gravitational potential energy converted to energy. So work and energy is same. Now, what is energy? Now energy is the capacity of a body to do work. It's the capacity of a body to do work. So for us work and energy is same. Now we'll go with what are the SI units huh, of work and energy. It is the same. See, I am writing your work is equal to what? Force into displacement. Right. We will take theta equal to 0. 99% of the time our angle is what? Is 0. Now, what will be SI unit over here? F force calculated will be what? Newton. Displacement is in meter. So, this Newton meter is written as what? Joule. But if I am writing in word, J should be small. This is what? Joule. Now, CGS unit is what earth erg now how these two are related so one newton meter that is w is equal to what one newton into what one meter so i will write work done is equal to force into displacement that is one joule is one newton into what one meter now this one newton is nothing but what n raised to five nine one meter is what n raised to two centimeters this comes out to be 10 raised to 7 down in centimeter which is 10 raised to 7 over right this is about it now next part is what is the power now what is power 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 now power is nothing but what is the power of a person power of a man power of a woman so it is what power is nothing but it is the rate of 
doing good. Is what we talk doing good. Now, whenever this is d, that means it is divided by one time. So, absolute power is equal to one upon time. So here, one is what w times t. Now, there is one relation between power, force, and velocity that I am deriving here. Now, work done generated is force into displacement upon time. But what is displacement upon time? I will split this part. Is the velocity. So I can write power is equal to force into velocity. This is the part. Now, what are the what is SI unit of power of P? So power is equal to it is work upon time. So work as in it is joule per second. Now joule per second is times joule second is times one, which is equal to what W A W T or it is capital W. That's it. Now we'll go away. What are other units of work, energy, and power? Now what are other units? Other units, in it units you have. It is EV. EV stands for electron volt. Now what is electron volt? Now one, this is an energy of atomic particle. Very small energy is expressed in terms of what electron volt. Now one EV is nothing but what? It is charge on electron is by same value one point six into ten raised to minus ninety. But instead of coulomb, I will write here joule because now it is energy. The other unit is what is kilowatt hour. This is nothing but commercial unit of electrical energy. Electrical energy that bill electricity bill. I am going to pay for it. That is expressed in terms of what kilowatt hour. One unit is nothing but one kilowatt hour. Now what is that one kilowatt hour? Is nothing but 3.6 into 10 raised to 6 joule. I can write this is 3.6 mega joule. This is what is a mega joule. Then you have calorie. Calorie unit of heat is expressed. Heat is expressed in terms of calorie. So one calorie. This is what is a unit of heat. So one calorie is 4.186 joule, which is approximately 4.2 joule. This is approximately sign. Or you write bracket approximately. Then other unit of power is horse power. This is what horse power. Generally, machine, engine, that pump, it has a power. That power is expressed in terms of horse power. One HP is nothing but seven forty-six watt. So, student, that's it for this chapter. So, in this part, in this part, chapter two A, what you have done? What is work? Work done depends on what factors. Now. Or uh, if what will be the what will happen if the displacement is zero? Work done depends on two factors. W is equal to F S. Now, if force is not zero, can work done be zero? Yes. If displacement is zero. Suppose, first example, I am applying force to this wall. What will happen? There is no displacement, so work done will be zero. Similarly, the example of the satellite. This is the Earth. This is Earth. This is satellite. Satellite starting from here again coming back to the same point. What is the work done? Zero. We got this place. It is work. Now that's it for this chapter. Thank you. Thank you.